Hi, I'm Clayton with WTB and I'm here to talk to you about how inner rim width affects tire volume and profile. Tires of any specific width, whether it be a 2.5 mountain tire or a 40 millimeter gravel tire, have a wide range of inner rim widths in which they can be safely mounted to. However, the combination of rim and tire width that you choose can affect the tire volume as well as the profile of the tire. While there is a range of compatible inner rim widths for any given tire width, there is also a narrower range of more optimal combinations based on tire volume and profile. We highly suggest you check out the WTB tire and rim fit chart for all of these suggestions. When we design a tire, we do so around a specific inner rim width that is most applicable and commonly used in conjunction with that tire. This is also the combination that we use to determine and name the width of the tire. However, that may not match the width of the tire or rim that you have on your bike. Using a narrower rim than a tire was designed around will cause the tire to have a narrower width, less air volume, and also a rounder profile than it was designed for. This can often cause the tire to be less supportive and maybe even require higher pressures. On the other hand, running a tire on a rim that is wider than it was designed for will cause it to have a wider width, more air volume, and a flatter profile than it was designed for originally. As a general rule of thumb, a two millimeter increase or decrease in inner rim width will result in a tire section width that is one millimeter increased or decreased as well. It is important to note that tire section width is measured at the widest point of the casing rather than the widest point of the tread. For example, our Exposure 30 tire has a tire section width of 30 millimeters on a 19 millimeter inner rim width. However, that tire will have a 32 millimeter tire section width on an inner rim width of 23 millimeters. This applies to everything from narrow gravel tires to wide mountain tires. Same rule of thumb across the board.